Hey guys, this is Ted Besmer, physical therapist and strength coach. Uh, have here the Axio 360. This is our introductory centripetal trainer. Has a half pound carbon steel mass and a resisted channel. Um, real quick, the reason why I developed this was several years ago I sustained a pretty significant shoulder injury in a hockey game. Um, tore my uh, labrum, had an anterior dislocation and a partial cuff tear. Um, really didn't want to have surgery. So uh, wanted to come up with a way to strengthen it and also come up with something that would actually progress with me. Uh, I've been in orthopedic and sports rehab for over 22 years and a strength coach for nearly 30. And so I've been around for a while to see that a lot of the training devices that we have in rehab for dynamic stabilization really are fairly low level devices. They're really designed for, for early stages of recovery and they really don't progress well with, uh, with someone once they actually want to return to sport or higher level function. Um, and the Axio it was basically developed because I wanted something different. I wanted something that would actually challenge dynamic stability even to a higher level than these other devices. Um, Axio using rotational resistance creates dynamic stabilization effect around a 360 degree axis. It also is much more difficult to sense and control. So the sensory motor component is far more challenging. And I think you'll find when you're using it, you'll see that people have a challenging time trying to figure it out because their nervous system takes a little while to get it. Um, good news is that actually is very trainable and they will get better. I also wanted something though that would be progressively more challenging from a resistance standpoint. I like to train with weights. I wanted something that basically was gonna stay with me and progress with me as I got stronger. And so consequently, this was what came from it, was the 360. Even uh, at my size, 6'3", 210, this device can still kick my butt sideways. But there's also now the 720 and the 1080, the double and, and triple mass systems, which are really significantly challenging um, so I highly encourage you to give those a try. They will take some practice. And like I said, those will, those will probably uh, noodle even the strongest shoulders uh, in the group. So, so give them a try and uh, look forward to hearing back.